effort, we can listen to the voices and meet the people in our communities who are really showing us a, a way forward and who, uh, from a faith perspective, living their life as deeply committed Christians, are showing us how we can enter into a new relationship with the environment. How we can, as a people of hope, trusting that all creation is in God's hands, ask what we can do locally uh, to, to allow us to move in a, in a healthier direction. We need to understand how our love of God interweaves with creation. And it is even more important and critical that we begin to weave that relationship back together. We have lots of communication, but we don't have integration. And we don't know how to speak to each other. We have entered into a new cosmological vision a new epic of evolution, a new universe story, a new understanding of who we are. But we haven't really thoroughly examined what is the meaning of that story and how do I live in a way that's going to be mutually enhancing for myself and the, all of the rest of creation. We need a miracle. And I'm not sure if I can work one myself, but I'm sure trying. The document invites the people of God to truly take on a different way of living in relation to the environment, a way that takes into consideration the needs of the poor and the marginalized, that takes economic interests seriously and the need for economic viability, but which truly respects the environment and thinks through the importance of the environment at each step of our decision-making processes. Some of these steps which need to be taken sound a little bigger than we ourselves can manage. So we need to also make connections to ask what we can do on a local level, on a parish level, so that we're contributing towards a changed view towards the environment, towards this kind of restructuring which uh, a wide variety of papal statements is calling forth. I know this has happened in, in Edmonton, for example, um, uh, community cooperatives, uh, even a sharing of tools, something as simple as that. To care for Earth is really Looking at bringing in speakers, uh, different speakers, and, and not just speakers who are passionate about the environment, but maybe speakers who are even passionate about different industries. Uh, bringing them in together to, to speak about their concerns, their needs, uh, really educating parishioners to, to move forward on this. Here in the Diocese of Saskatoon, a number of people have taken very creative initiatives in relation to the environment or to the land. And there is a budding sense among faithful and especially among younger generations to be a person of faith uh, obliges one to have a relationship with the earth, with the land, uh, obliges one to have a strong sense of care for the environment. So these initiatives have in various ways sought to live differently and to teach us how to, to live differently. Saskatchewan, like our pioneers in the home quarter, was built by everyday people. And so any surplus produce and most of what we grow here on the Winyard farm will be donated to food banks. If someone wants to come and volunteer for a time at the farm, 
they will at least know that their work is not only going to support farmland legacies, but it's going to help feed people in their communities that need it. That is a concept that has excited the Saskatchewan Federation of Labour. They have nearly 100,000 members in Saskatchewan. That's a tenth of our population. And they are very social justice minded. And so they've endorsed our work here at the Home Quarter and its connection to the hungry. They know where this message really needs to be picked up by the average everyday working person to help feed people in their communities that need it. My work is not just growing seeds and selling them to people, but it's really about inviting people to grow their own food or to get it as locally as possible. And that's partly because it's better that way. It doesn't have all kinds of residues in it. It's fresh. It uses less energy. It means the world could be more sustainable. We have to do things on a local scale if we want to have enough for everybody to get something. And not only does it taste good because it's so fresh, psychologically I think it just tastes better because exactly like you know what you've put into it. Here at the Abbey they're very interested. There are also very many community gardens in Saskatoon and I'm sure many other cities and in quite a few cases these gardens will be built on church property. So there certainly are parishes where there's a great deal more interest in food and feeding people and teaching people how to use food. Welcome to CD Saturday 2014. My name is Kate Henderson and I'm with the Heirloom Seed Sanctuary, Sisters of Providence of St. Vincent de Paul, who are also sponsoring this event today. So if you see a sister, thank her. CD Saturday is the most wonderful community event celebrating seeds ever. Uh, community groups, all kinds of community groups, environmental interests, spiritual interests, everybody comes together and we celebrate seeds and it's just the best. And this is the day when the Sisters of Province really benefit this whole community and not just the human community but the pollinators and the plants, everybody benefits from CD Saturday. This statement, uh, building a new culture, is not trying to tell us that we need to take on a new agenda, the agenda of the environment. It's telling us that we as Catholics, as Christians, uh, are part of a, a tradition that has always valued the environment, that our relationship with God has always involved a relationship with God's world, uh, invites us into a love relationship with that world, a covenantal relationship. We believe that creation is ultimately in God's hands and that we, the human enterprise, human history is ultimately in God's hands. And while we live and breathe, there are things that we can do. 